aggressive by becoming aggressive or passive on weaker, shot, weaker shots. So defensive players, they'll give you a lot of attacks, right, in the game. They'll push long, they'll serve long, and they'll invite you to make opening loops and get, make attacks. Their goal is to make it a little bit wider or make sure the, the blocks are really deep and make you miss. Their, their goal is to play two, three balls and have you miss. So they're actually very good at staying at the table and blocking. And as an added difficulty, when you become passive as an offensive player, they take the opportunity to finish the point. So uh, if you're attacking and missing, you're, you're losing. And if you're becoming too passive, they're becoming attackers. So it's, it's like a double-edged sword if they're really good at defense. So our goal is to not let that happen. <laughs> Typically, they will give you plenty of long, deep, heavy pushes and look to block you around. Therefore, you should try to stay closer to the table and make strong attacks to their middle and wide. Never hit to their racket. Also, try and not back off. They will have more time to run you around. So playing from back here against these defensive players is a very bad idea. They have a lot of time to uh, see where you're hitting to, and your ball also slows down, and they can move the angle. So it's like a triple, a triple loss for you there. So your goal is to stay very close, put a lot of pressure on them. And if you do get back, you want to try and work your way back into the table. So this is a skill that you need to develop. And uh, let's see, did I miss anything there? No, okay. It may be counterintuitive, but pushing long occasionally to defensive players can be effective because they are usually looking for you to attack, and they may push weak directly back to you. I've had a lot of defensive players, and they're so focused on making you attack that they forget that they're supposed to attack. So I know I said when you make weaker shots that they will become offensive, but if you make really good pushes, sometimes they'll be standing there and they'll, they'll think, oh, why is he giving me the attack? So if you make really nice, deep, heavy cuts to their backhand or middle, Sometimes they can become passive and play up an easy ball, or even push a, a, a ball back for you. So that can, that actually works against defensive players. So mixing them in really throws them off. Next, also adjusting for serves frequently is, also adjusting your serves frequently is smart. Defensive players want to find your rhythm of serves that is enough to greatly weaken their ability to make strong deep pushes. Like I said, they like to make good pushes, right? Either medium long or long, sometimes short. And if you're doing a new serve, every single serve, they don't find your, your spins, your rhythms, your placements. Their goal is that you just do like a, like a short back spin serve or a short side spin serve, every single serve right there, one spot. Then they just keep mixing it up, making your life even more difficult. So if you make heavy top spins, long serves, dead serve, everything always different, then they're gonna have a lot of trouble making good uh, pushes to you, right? And if you can mix up the amount of spin on opening loops, that will throw them off. Sometimes heavy spins and sometimes stronger attacks because uh, you know they like to push long often. It's easy to remember to mix up your loops. So the fact that they're always pushing long lets you mix up your loops because you don't have to worry about them pushing short or anything. They're going to push long so you can remember, oh, this time I want to loop spinny this time. Oh, this time I'm going to drive the ball more. They're giving you that opportunity to have the clarity of mind to mix up your loops. If they're pushing short 75 and 30% long, it can be hard to remember to spin one and to attack one. So if you're changing your spins on your loops, they're gonna have more trouble blocking. Does that make sense? Yes, no? I said that in kind of a roundabout way. Yeah? He says yes. He's got it. <laughs> okay, so the skills needed. Uh, ability, I think I went through all of these, kind of. Uh, today are fun and exciting, very new. I think they will test your skills in the ways that you have not been tested uh, in this camp yet. So uh, if you're not too good at them, it's okay. We need to start somewhere. So the first one is one or two to backhand, one or two to forehand. So let's say Alvin is the blocker and I'm the attacker. He's going to do one or two here, one or two here. And I'll go to his backhand just for so it's one or two, one or two. Never goes more than two times to one spot. Just mixing up once or twice. Yes. And we will go around and help you guys. 
guys with the drill, anything we see that needs to be adjusted or, or improved, we can, we can help you with that. We'll be doing five, six minutes each side, and then moving on to the next drill. So I mentioned moving close and far is a, a skill you need to have once they get you off the table. Being able to move back into the table is important. So we're going to do two close and two far. So we'll go to one spot. So it's one, two, move back. One, two, move forward. One, one, two, move back. One, two, move forward. One, two, one, two. Yeah? Same thing with backhand. I'll go to his cross part here. So one, one, two, move back. One, two, move forward. One, two, move back. One, two. Make sense? Oh, but are you putting the, are you trying to go longer, deeper on the, on the deeper ones? You're getting the same ball. Not really. Yeah, you, you could do like, push some extra in the, A little bit. Yeah, a, li a little bit. I wouldn't a li a little too bit. much. No, okay. Like, but, don't but, make it to the point where you're messing up the drill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you can make it more comfortable for your part practice part, yeah. please do. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, you had a question? I think that was the same one. We're oh, yeah. to block to the same spot. Yeah, let's yeah. look at it where he's blocking to and see. That's one, two, one. Two. one. I mean, he's pretty much hitting yeah. here every ball. So you don't need to uh, look back as far as that. You yeah, you don't look back as far as small steps back. Yeah. yeah, I over exaggerate. Yeah, yeah. I do then maybe you have to like. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So make sure you don't go too far back. But yeah. Okay, <laughs> next drill. So we'll do like three minutes of uh, forehand, one, two, three, three minutes, and then three minutes of backhand, then we'll rotate to the other person. Next is one spinny loop and one driving loop. This might be a little bit new for some of you, and maybe some of you are already pretty good at this. So we'll do just with four hands today. I'll go to your back end to make it simple. And we're gonna do one spinny and one drive. 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 This is really great because he's also getting to practice his block against a spinny loop and a drive loop. You're getting your opportunity to practice mixing it up. Ideally, when, when we get into the game against a defensive player, we want to be able to serve backspin and sometimes drive it, and sometimes against a defensive player, spin it, spin it up. That's the idea. But we need to start somewhere, so this is a good drill to start by mixing it up. All right. We have parents. We have parents. We have parents. Yeah, and, uh, serving long is also effective, right? I don't know. Yes. They don't loop any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I long. love serving long against because they're sitting there thinking, I'm going to push. I'm going to push. And then they think, oh, shoot, he's serving long to me. And you do it every once in a while, and then you get kind of a free, they won't miss the push. You get a free attack. And uh, staying close and keeping the pressure on is good. Did I, I thought I put that on here, but if I didn't, 